You love your family? Yeah. Are you that cold-hearted of a I'm person? Not, no, I'm not. I'm already in trouble. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. I don't know about that point. I just I couldn't see back behind where I was standing. I, mean, I like, never In this video, you will witness the interrogation of Willie Mae Thornton, who, along with her teenage son, was arrested in connection with killing the owner of a convenience store in the Florida Panhandle in 2014. According to reports, D'Antonio Thornton was recruited by his own mother to help her commit a robbery, which ultimately took the life of the store owner and father of six, Fuang Truong. Watch and listen closely during the interrogation to see what Willie Mae has to say. And if you want to check out her son's interrogation, the link will be in the description of this video. I'll cut to the chase for you. All right. Bottom line is, this is my homicide unit, and there's pressure on me to solve these cases. Mm -hmm. All right. And we do a pretty damn good job of it. All right. And now I'm going to ask you a few specific questions. All right. And I want you to think long and hard about being honest because your answers okay. may affect the rest of your life. Okay. All right? Now, obviously, the clerk was killed. We agree with that? We yeah, know that by the day or whatever, right? About all, of that. all right. You frequent that store. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, do you think that we just pulled... Willie Mae Thornton out of the sky and list oh. you as a suspect? No, I'm pretty sure that I know I've been back and forth in the store, so I'm pretty sure of that. Okay. All right. But if you just back and forth to the store, why would we assume that you're a suspect? That could be 200 other It people. said questioning, so I'm pretty sure y'all wanted to talk to anybody that was in that store that day. Okay. Did your son, Don, Don Antonio, did he have a gun that day? I mean, that, hey, this nut cutting time mm -hmm. now. Be honest. Because here, I, like I said, I, I, I don't play games. I'm not I, playing I, against I'm, nobody. I, I'm gonna put it out there simple with you, son. You see that glove right there? Mm -hmm. Huh? All right. You know where those gloves come from? What about them? Do you know where they come from? No, I'm saying, what about? Them? What about them? Well, that glove is left at the homicide scene. Okay. Okay. All right. DNA tests have already been done on that. And guess whose DNA it comes back to? Okay. It comes back to you. Okay. I've had a pair of them in the truck before, so I'm just saying. What about them? What about the... Uh, it, well, explain to me how five feet away from a dead guy with his brains blown out does... All I know is I didn't kill nobody. Okay. Well, let me tell you the, the, the obstacle that you have to overcome, okay? The obstacle, the obstacle that you have to overcome is that when we sent this to FDLE, Florida Department of Law Enforcement, this is science. This ain't bullshit that mm -hmm. we come up with. This is science, all right? So your DNA is already on file mm -hmm. because you have yeah. a record between Memphis and here, okay? So the numbers, we get numbers of like, you know, one in a thousand you know, that's not good numbers because there's like 3 billion people in the world. Well, the numbers of your DNA in this glove are what they call in the quintillions, which outweighs the population in the world, okay. which means that can't be anybody else's DNA except Willie Mae Thornton. The presence of the suspect's DNA provides the detective with a huge amount of leverage, which he can use to extract a quick confession. Okay. Now, you don't work. No. All right. This is an industrial glove. That glove comes from a place where your boyfriend works. Okay. Because he has those gloves. Well, his, this what I'm saying. So they, yes, what I'm saying. At the house, will be in the but, but he's working. Well, that some bitch can't fly. Okay. He can't get up and walk in there. And I know one for a fact that I didn't take it in there. Okay. So, it's motherly instinct to try to protect. You understand that? And I understand that. But, you know, this this man, he had seven kids, seven children, just as you have five or four. I got four. Four. He had seven. He was on his second marriage, and we're up there, and I got a two-year-old boy grabbing onto my leg because he has a two-year-old son. And couldn't none of the family speak English because they're Vietnamese. We had to get an interpreter. 
Nobody has the right to take the fucking light but the man up above. You're right. You are so right about that. Nobody. Not us, not anybody else. But you know what? If it was your son, your daughter, your mama, your daddy, we're going to be working just as hard hard to to do it because that's what we do. And I can tell you, we put in the time in these last two or three weeks during our homework Mm -hmm. to the point my wife wants to divorce me. I've worked so much. Okay? Now, the obstacle to overcome here is you can't explain why that glove with your DNA is in that store to a jury of your peers and them to buy it. Because if you say, oh, I work in a chemical plant. Oh, I work in this. I work this type of manual job. And I keep those gloves with me in my back pocket and they could have fallen out. You were wearing tights that day. Mm-hmm. Okay? All right. You got two boys. And I know you do. I got three boys. Well, and you got a 12-year-old, right? And then you got Melvin, and then you mm-hmm. got Shanique. Mm-hmm. All right, Shanique doing pretty good. She's got her good mm-hmm. job. You know, we talked to her. I'm sure mm-hmm. she called you. And, yeah, you had warrants on you. And I'm sure that played a little yeah, part yeah. of you not mm-hmm. wanting to come in. Tell. Yep. All right. But I told your son that this don't go away. I said, I'll have your mama in here this week. I promise you. I was you. coming in on Monday. I just was going to celebrate my birthday. I was All coming right. in on Monday. Now, you love your family? Yeah. Are you that cold hearted of a I'm person? Not, no, I'm not. Then you break it down for us about how it went down. That's the only way you can try to save yourself. And I'm because I, I know I ain't done nothing wrong. But I'm gonna tell I, you right now. I know now, what you're man, saying, but I know story. I ain't done nothing wrong. I'm not here to play games. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna bullshit you. Okay? Because we have done our homework. We know you where you went. We have video from the store. Okay. You know, at the grocery advantage. Okay. Or whatever the hell it's mm-hmm. called. You know, we have we know you were in there because you signed a credit card. Exactly. You know, I, I mean, you, that. you know, that's just a little yeah. of the stuff that we have. It appears that the mention of DNA at the crime scene was not enough to gain a confession this early in the interrogation. The detective adds that they also have video evidence and other important facts about the crime in question. However, he isn't specific about the information. This could imply that the detective is lying to the suspect, which is a common technique that authorities use during interrogations. And don't make me pull it out of you. Break it down for us. Why and what went wrong? at the store that day. Hey, I know it's your flesh and blood and you love him. And you can cry if you want to. That's natural, baby. I know it is. But you know what? From day one, when you're raised, no matter how much you love your mama and daddy, right's right and wrong is wrong. Right's right and wrong wrong. I told him it's coming back. All right. It's a matter of time. Absolutely. It don't go away. You know, I get put in the middle of something to uh, tell it. Hey, and, and right you, now, and you are damn fucking square in the middle. What? Of it. So you're more in the middle of it than anybody else is in the middle of it because your DNA is in there. So you need to start to, realizing. Okay, what so right at this very moment, I need to know I'm already in trouble. Mm-hmm. Period. Mm-hmm. But you've known that for a while. Oh, because, that's my point. Being, you, I know you've been that violated for my over a year. My probation, yeah, yeah, I know that. Been so that's my point year. about that. So I knew that part. But if you're helpful in our investigation, we can talk to the. That's my thing. Ask the, you the, now. What the, the things you help you, us with? Yes. You, listen to me. Can somebody listen put something me. right for me? Listen to me. Listen to me. The things you can help us with may be the determining factor if you're charged with homicide or not. I think. I know. I ain't done nothing. But, but I didn't find out the after the fact, but listen, I know. Listen to me, baby. And just by, I know that much. Listen to me, baby. All right. Whether you say you were there or were not or whatever, like I said, how to a courtroom do I explain? You know, you watch Forensic Files and all that stuff. 
You know, I didn't use my it. DNA. You are uh, my. It can be on it, but I know I didn't use this. My glue. DNA ain't nowhere at your I house. I can say how it got in that store, but I know I didn't take it in that store. My DNA ain't nowhere at your house. You know, and I had saying? no idea that it went in that store. So, depending on what we know, and you can verify you know and quantify. I, I mean, had I, no I, idea of this. I'll get the state attorney's office up here. Okay, do that because I but, had no idea. But, but like you, I can say, I know for a fact because, like I said, we ride bikes and this. These gloves should have been in that truck. These gloves should have been in the truck. These gloves should have never got out of that truck. Will you tell us what you know, not what should have been? Or That's what been. I'm saying. And now I'm in the middle of something. Yes, you are. You see what I'm saying? That hey, this right here, what I we're see. doing now. Look at me. This is probably the biggest decision mm -hmm. of your life you'll ever make. Ever. Not buying a house, not having a baby, not anything. This is the biggest decision of your natural life. Okay. Now, get the state attorney's office, and I'm willing to talk to tell you everything. Well, we got to hear something before I, we get them. See, so that's that we know what it is. I need to know. Here. I need Why to bring know. Them over I'm here saying what I'm saying is if I'm fixing to. Hang my child for something. Listen to me, mate. And it's, right. it's, it's killing me I, for somebody else. I, I but it. I hate the fact that somebody put me in the middle of something I, else. But I knew, I knew when I when it came on the news and said I wanted to be talked to. I knew something went right with the picture. Period. I, but I, I knew. I told them then if I if I if I go down for something I know I haven't done, I got to tell everything I know. I, I feel you. And I will work with you, and you have my word. And I'll make a phone call here in just a second. All right. But you remember, I've done this. Yes. Listen to me. I've done this a long time. All right. And you know, the person that's responsible for it, they will be back in here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. No, they got to come back in okay. here. Okay. But but then you know what we run into sometimes when they know they cornered and they caught. Man, shit, man. That that's my mom, man. She did that shit. That ain't okay. none of me, cuz. You know what I'm saying? It's more, it's more, it's more to this than tell me, you tell me, you found a glove. Oh, oh, oh no, 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 I know there's a lot of My part being, call, call somebody. But, I'm, but telling, I'm telling you, this I'm, investigation I'm can't about, implicate you. It's, it did what? It can't implicate you. If we call the state attorney's office, it up don't here, implicate me. I, it don't know? implicate me. I'm telling well, you, it's implicating you right now because, because of that. that. Because of that. That's right. Because okay. somebody else used that, and I didn't know that. But that don't implicate me. It implicates this, but makes me tell what I know because now that somebody okay. How about in this? the middle of How it. How about this? The information that you give us. We gonna be able to verify it as the truth. You can verify it as the truth. Or, no, I'm, I'm not I'm saying can. I'm you not can. saying I can. You, you can. Don't be able to. You can verify it as the truth. Hang tight, kid. I'm telling you, I, I can prove that to you. Cause it's weight on you. Because I've sat here and watched you with your leg. You ain't stopped shaking your leg since we started. And we talked about that. Don't matter how you raise, you go to school. They even preach it difference between right and wrong because that was somebody's father that was somebody's son somebody's uncle and he's no longer here with us anymore and nobody has that right to do that nobody and now is your chance as we talk because I went and did like you asked. I held my end of the bargain up, did I not? I told you I, told you I wasn't going to lie to you. And I wasn't going to bullshit you. But you have to be 100% truthful. Because if you're 100% truthful, there is nothing that nobody can do to say you were truthful and that you helped the police bring this to a close. Because we're going to close it either way but you have a hard time right now with this glove explaining that and that's why I want to know you know one of the things I like to tell people is that's why we here and we talking because I want to hear your story 
And a lot of times I get to hear that story. There's sometimes I don't. But then I follow that up with, because you don't want us, the police and investigators, telling the story for you in a court of law, do you? Because, because, hey, it is what it is, right? We put it together and we submit it, is what we do. All right? I know you love it. But wrong is wrong. But if something just went bad or something happened, that's what we hear. All right? Let's get this show on the road. Let's get to talk about it. What kind of deals are y'all offer me to help me get you? Hey, there is not going to be any deal today. Remember what we I don't. We don't make deals at this stage of, or anything. I will tell you this, that if you cooperate and you cooperate with us right now, telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth, that will be fully and totally provided and taken into consideration. We will, we will, and I've done this before with other folks. This ain't the first time I've been in this kind of situation in this kind of room. And I will tell you where I've been with, with somebody and I've told them, I can't make you a deal right now. I'm not going to make you a deal right now because I don't know what the story is. But I will tell you this, I'll be the first one in court at some point in time saying this person or that person fully cooperated, told the truth, and cooperated in the prosecution. And she or he should receive credit for that. Now, the suspect has apparently watched too much crime TV and thinks that she has the power to control the interrogation and ask for a written deal in exchange for information. With the arrival of the new detective and or prosecutor, the suspect is quickly shut down and brought back to earth. She is immediately made aware that there will be no deal at this stage of the interrogation. On the other side, this is your chance. Because if you don't get on the train at this point in time, the train will be leaving the station and going on without you. And we'll figure it out some way, shape, or form. But there ain't no deals that's going to be made today. Now, I will tell you that, I, like I said, I've been, I've been there and done that with other folks. Um, defense attorneys know that, and they know that I've been there for them when, they, when things come around. But I don't know whether you're telling me the truth or not at this stage. Why should I make you a deal? Remember, I told you before we got here, before he got here, we have to, like I said, we have evidence-based facts that we know all right now we want the truth of why how everything happened but we have to we back up whatever the person is that tells us by forensic evidence that we have to know if it's true or untrue i mean we would be fools if and there's been thousands of people sitting in your seat and just say, well, okay, what kind of deal? Deal is, you're not going to get anything out of this if uh, you let us put somebody in jail. That wouldn't even be good police work. That wouldn't even be good investigators. Because so, somebody innocent may go to jail, somebody not guilty. You feel me? You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why we have to verify the facts. And if we can verify the facts that you say is true, then it moves on to the stage of what he said. Mr. Moulton is not going to sit here and lie to you. He's been with the state attorney's office as long as I've been doing my job, and he prosecutes major crimes. Okay? I'm not sitting, I told you I'm not going to lie to you, and I'm not here to play games because I don't. I'm not going to lie to you at all about anything. But we just can't sit here and say, mate, listen, hon, if you tell us this, then, you know, because. Who's going to come in next and say, oh, May pulled the trigger. May did this. May did that. Mm -hmm. See that. <laughs> All right. But see, that's that's what I'm getting at. That's why we got to what you say. We got to verify it, and we back it up with forensic evidence to know it's the truth. And then if we can discount you and know it's true, then you don't have many problems. 
The only problems you got right this second, you know, is yeah, you got some DNA you got to explain, and you got to explain this love. You got the warrants on you, but you know that was before any of this ever happened. You mm -hmm. know, this goes back two thousand ten, twelve, whatever it was. You know. But I will tell you, if Mr. Molchan says this is the time and this is the deal, I mean, I'm not a gambler. I know you like playing the lotto, so. But I don't gamble with my life. And I don't just go, well, the chips fall where they may. I don't do that. Because life is too precious. You know, everything's going good for you. You got a good boyfriend, good job. Good place to live, cars, money in your pocket, going out to lunch and dinner, spending family time, seeing the kids and all that. And that's things you need to think about, even though I'll be the first to tell you, I love my children more than anything in the world. But I told them from day one that if you do something wrong, you know, it's our job to protect our kids, but we can only do it till it crosses the line. If my son or my daughter had done something, I said, hey, I'll be there for you from day one. I'll come see you. It, it, whatever happens, happens. But I can't sit there and lie for you. Because when they're grown, they grown. Mm -hmm. I told them, don't call me home. Ma'am, I, I, I can't imagine. I mean, I, I, get, I get a feeling where this is going if you're going to talk to us. And I can't imagine your pain because there ain't nothing worse than having to be put in this position. And and I understand that, and I empathize. I, I, I certainly am I'm sympathetic to a mom under these circumstances. But there's there's a point, and, and we're at that point. Mate, let's break it down tonight. Of how it got started and why it happened. The plan was a plan just to go rob the man. Ooh, what did you talk about? Hmm? I'm talking about this death, the murder. You talking about to go? I ain't set up to rob nobody. No, no we're talking oh. about. He's not, he's not talking about you doing. Oh. No, I'm talking about less. What happened? Well, that's what said. No, don't, don't, no, no, don't. I'm not putting words in your mouth. Do that. Don't let, that's what I'm saying, I want to hear your right story, here. not mine, because I'm just trying to ask you a question. Let me ask this question. What do you know? Tell us what you know. <laughs> it was just, so, it was just, I went and just don't get my ticket. Looking for the call. He came and said he was going to use the bathroom. Not knowing he was coming in. Who, 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 who's, who's he? Okay. Don Antonio? He used the bathroom. So I'm standing there looking for the car. Outside or inside? inside. In your purse in, or whatever? In, in, for the car. Standing there talking to him like we talk, like me and the man always be talking to each other. I just seen him. He heard pow. He just fell. I know you can see him coming. I never saw him coming. How did you get to the store? In the car. You were in the car. Was he? Was yeah, your son in the car with you? Yes, he was. I never saw him. So basically, y'all going up to you were going up the store just a normal, yeah, no, no, normal no, no, no. kind of run of the mill thing. It was the third time she'd been to the store that night. Yeah, don't just don't no, I mean, you just go to the store. I mean, mm -hmm. so your 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 son he comes with you, and you tell us when you come in the store. What do you what do you normally do? I get my tickets. Get your tickets. I'm not stressed tickets if I'm gonna stay there during the daytime. I was just, I was just standing there looking for the car because I picked up the wrong car. It just, it happened. So I did. Would you really know what was gonna happen? Just that fast. When, when you say you were pick, you picked up the wrong car. Yeah, what, I what did you mean? Call. I asked for the debit card. Okay, you, you had the wrong to, yeah. to pay mm -hmm. to, to do the payment. I got you. So were you gonna go back to your car or what was? It just, I never made it. Out. You never made it. Okay. Here's the store. You know, there's a parking lot right here. All right. The front doors of the store. You know, we. I know what the store looks like. You go in. Then you know, here's the 
where the clerk is and all that, you know, your lottery stuff is over here and all that, and the cash registers over here. And then there's a little open window, you know, where you pay and stuff like that. Uh, obviously people scratch off their little lotto and su uh, such because there's a bucket mm -hmm. that, that says right there that people throw the lottery tickets in and ain't winners, right? And then if you were to pass this, you know, the old boy in there, he, you know, he liked to play the piano or whatever. He had a little piano and a speaker over here in the corner. Mm -hmm. And then that room leads into the bathroom, mm -hmm. a man and woman's bathroom, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Now, you were somewhere up here at this counter looking for your card or whatever. Had you ordered some lottery tickets? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't want to when I needed to pay for it. How many were you buying? It was three. Three lottery tickets? Okay. All right. And as he's kind of just standing there waiting for you to find your card or whatever. What happened after that? It's, it's just, was wow. He just felt like you didn't nope. see it coming. Yeah. The suspect is extremely quick to pin the crime on her son, emphasizing that she was unaware that the crime was going to take place and distancing herself from any beforehand knowledge of her son's intentions. The detective should continue to ask for specifics related to the suspect's whereabouts and actions so that they can truly determine if her son acted alone in this heinous crime. I understand. Did you, did, when your son, did he come in the door? Did you see him come in? Yeah, I seen him come in. He said he was a bathroom, but I didn't. Did I he didn't, say that to you? Yes, he asked the man where the bathroom was. Okay. He so you asked him, he asked, where's the bathroom? Where the bathroom? And you're paying, you're probably like this I, at the counter. Okay. Did he you see him? Did you feel him go past you or yeah. see him? Or, or I, I was still there. I was still there. No attention. Mm -hmm. really to just you didn't pay any attention. And then what happened? It you just, just next all next. It was, it was bang. bang. After you heard the shot, I was standing there in shock. Okay. What happened after that? There was, he, he started. He said, "Oh, oh!" I said, "What the fuck did you just do? What mm -hmm. did you just do? What did you just do?" Mm -hmm. Just like that, right there. It just, he just started moving around and panicking. I don't just feel like this. I'm like, oh my, God. oh, my God. Now, this is your son. What did he do? When you asked him what the fuck happened, what did he say anything like? Nothing with this. It just happened so fast. Did, did he come up and have words with him or say, like, give me your money? Nothing. That's what is so... So it doesn't make sense. That, that, that's what makes no sense about the whole thing. All right. Then what happened? Huh? Did you see a gun in his hand? Yes. Yes. What kind of gun did he have? It was, it was black. That's all I can say. You talking about your son's gun? Yes. It was black. Okay. Okay. And then what happened? What did your son do while he was in there after that behind the camera? Stop just picking up stuff. It was just, I'm like, I'm just like, oh my God, I, I can't believe I'm in the car, you know, shit like this. Now, let me ask just before we, before I forget, before we forget, how did this, what's the deal with the glove? He had to it out, he had to bring it out the truck, he had to. You see, when saw, you say he, you're he, talking about your son. All I saw him was with that and a brown bag. Mm -hmm. He had a brown bag with that, wrapped around with the thing. So that would be why nothing from him would have got on that. There's a brown bag around this, yes. around the glove. Yes. But he don't have the glove no, on his he hand. He didn't have it on his hand. Okay. Had you been using this glove? Yeah, I don't gloves right. We ride our bike and stuff. Mm -hmm. All right. So he comes out of the bathroom with this stuff in his hand. Then you didn't see that until after the okay. fact. Is what I'm saying. To okay. You. Okay. And you didn't know at any time that I he had a gun did, or did, did, a, tucked I, to his did, waistband? None, none of this. None of this. What was he wearing that that's day? That's what, that's what I really can't... I remember him having a... A great, I think a great shirt for the gym. Why did he decide to come to the store with you? Or does... We was, was getting ready to go to the grocery store. Is what okay, you're going to the grocery Okay. I stopped to get my ticket. Okay. So you're, he was going to go with you to the grocery, store, to the grocery store. And then you... This was just a check, a just stop a, to go... It just, was just, it get was your just lottery tickets. It was just a quick stop. Like I had been going on, just a stop. Okay. So I'm guessing between the first time he was there, I don't know when he 
thought or put in the mind of that. Like he had been in the store yeah, earlier that yes. day, will you? Yes. What? Now you've gone, you said three times, did he come all no, three no, times? No, just them two, the last two. Okay. Okay. Now, did he frequent that store on a regular basis? I don't know that. I can't answer that. That's something okay. I can't answer you with that. Okay. Um, I know that store don't get enough business for that. Sure. Sure. That much, I know that. I, I'm going to jump forward just a minute while it's fresh on my mind, and I apologize. But, uh, all right, you went to the store at the grocery advantage and bought a bunch of groceries. Did he, after this happened, did he continue on to the store with you and he buy went, groceries? He, he went to the store, and he I had to, he told me I had to shut the B to not to help. Cause they, I had to go on with my day like nothing had happened. And the whole time, I'm in the panic mode. Okay. Okay. So at this point of time, he had two guns. In the car? Yeah. So out of nowhere, this out of nowhere this happens. Y'all leave. Go through that. When y'all leave and pull out, where did which way do you start going or where do you start Go going? Go to the right, down 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 this way. Okay. To where? To the store. That's where my point. I couldn't I could think of none of I got to have somebody see me. I can't be a part of this. When when did, did you see the two guns? Was it in the car? After, after that. In, in the he, car. So he had the, he had one, he must have brought one back out with him. Had you ever knew, did you know anything about a gun no, before? I knew nothing about a gun. About the guy, That's the store owner? None of that, none of it. Okay. Period. This is the million dollar question. You know, he starts doing stuff behind the counter, maybe searching the guy going through his pockets and stuff. Okay. We got to get the fuck out of here. All right. Was what it. else did he take from behind there? That was electronic. Just film. Now, this is very, very important. Very, very important. Where are the guns? Now, that part I don't. This is what I don't know. Now, you were in the car with him. No, he went. After that, I get, took him. He left with there. I don't know after that. I didn't want no part of that. I don't want to know what you All did right, with I, it because after, I'm already in it. So if I find out anything else, this makes me more. Help, help, help me understand this because you tell me. Y'all leave the store. Start heading down Michigan, and you say he's got two guns. Mm -hmm. Okay, obviously you know he's got this piece of, of equipment with him also. All right, and you say y'all go to the store. I went, and all I had to right then I was in so so panic mode. I didn't know how to function. All my thing was I can't. I got to make sure that I'm not in this. I got to get what what, what was that gap for? What, what, what did he do? What he do? What do you remember him doing? With the gun that, that you can recall, what, That's what where, where did he go? He, he, he kept the, that was the end of when he got out. He had both. Okay, okay where he did he get? At, where did he get out? The same guy picked him up from his mother-in-law house. This was after shopping. This is after. So the DVR or whatever the electronic was in the bag, sitting, sit, sitting in there, and I'm sitting here in the I don't know what to do. And then you took him back over took there and bailed. You got to get the hell. You got to get away from me, and I don't want no parts of this. Okay. So what happened to the, the recording he, machine? I don't know. Okay. Did he take it with he him? Doesn't want to. Okay, he took it with him, and he's got the guns. I guess tucked. Where, where are the guns? It is on, on, on him. Beast. I see. I know the black one. Then the mm -hmm. other one. I guess he got that from him. What color was it's that? It's white or uh, silver or something like that. Okay. Now he go. He, you take him over to his mother in laws And I haven't seen my son since that day. Okay. Me and my son have not seen each other since that day. Has he called you? Since that period, I've talked to Kira. That's his girl? Yes, I talked to her. They called me the other day and said that he turned himself in. Well, he did. And then they called me and said he was out. And I'm like, that's what really threw me for mm -hmm. it. Back up to the glove deal. You said the glove had come from the truck. Yeah, that's what I'm, I well, never. There, there, where's the other one? I don't, that's what, I'm, that's what I don't know. They was together. I have no clue of that. This is what I didn't even with me to know this. I wouldn't even how would me to leave something like that behind. What did he use? Did he cut the wires? Uh, that I was still in panic mode trying to see what somebody coming. That now how he get them off, I don't know, but I know he had them when we left this store. Yeah. About how big. Was this I, nah, box. This, I mean, we talking about like, cable like a cable box. Yeah. You mean the, the small ones or like a direct TV about about yeah. 
just kind of small, about like a Cox cable. Ones. Yeah, there was two, two of them. Ones. Were they black or white? Black. Both were black. Okay. All right. What did he get out of his pockets? What you mean? What What did Dantonio get out of the victims? Oh, I don't do. do I, now that's I didn't see all of that. I know when we got in the grocery store. He paid for them groceries. Did he walk around and shop with you? No, all the time? I was shopping. He would just walk around in the store while I was doing my shopping. When we got to the counter and to swipe the card, he said he had the wrong card. His food stamp card didn't work to pay for all the groceries. He paid for the groceries, the rest of the groceries with cash. You got all of them film. You don't see him pay for nothing. Did did he have a cell phone with him? No. No, he don't have a cell he phone. He didn't have a phone with him. Okay. Because I remember him using my phone, so I know he didn't have a phone with him. And you, and you know, hon, the thing that baffles me, and when I was talking to your son, and I mean, your son pissed me off. I, I'm not going to lie to you, all right? Because I'm, he's not a big guy, you know, he's a little fella, you know? And his attitude and that he could care less about what happened, you know, because I, 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 I posed to him, I said, because we talked about his boy who's going to be two in December. Oh, my grandson. And his old lady's three months pregnant mm -hmm. now. And I said, I said, uh, Don Antonio or Black, I call him Don Antonio. I said, hypothetically speaking, I said, hypothetical means, you know, not for real. Just, I said, what if somebody drove by your house? Because everybody, even, you know, mama and everybody said he's a good daddy. I said, what if he drives by and somebody drives by and shoots up your house and kills your son? Wouldn't you want the police to find out? And he says, well, it is what it is. How cold can you be? That's exactly what he, I said, that's your flesh and blood, son. Your flesh and blood. It is what it is. Is what he said. Dead. This is the end of the first interrogation, and after gathering additional information, the suspect was brought back in for further questioning. The suspect's son, D'Antonio, was also brought back in. To watch and listen to exactly what he said, you can check out his interrogation on our channel. The link can be found in the description of this video. Arrested your son. Okay. Um, has there anything come up that since then that you can remember or you want to talk about? No? Do you recall how much money was in that bank bag? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Was there any money in there? It, I, I, like I said, when I got in the store, all I know, he pulled out some money. I'm not sure. He pulled out some money from in, the bank bag? No, he pulled out money from his pockets. So I'm not sure what Some was money in the, in the victim's pockets. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Okay. He pulled out money in the store. I don't know how much money was in the bag. Okay. All right. Um, what about the keys? He had he, given us something about the keys. What did he do with those keys? I don't know what he did with the keys. You didn't know that he, he had the keys. Threw them out the window when he was going over uh, grocery. I didn't see him throwing out the window. Okay, that's what he told us that he threw. Well, out I don't. Now that's a good. That's, I have. I told you my mind mode was still on what the fuck had just happened. Mm -hmm. Okay, he uh, he gave us a story. Okay, and he said that you know he did shoot the clerk. Um, I mean, he pretty much told us his whole role in the the robbery. Um, but he also gave us a little bit about what you might have done in the robbery. Okay, I don't know. Or that could have been the planning but... of, you know, like, do you owe money to Terry that you had to get some money back to him? Because we talked to Terry, too. Was there I don't owe no money to Terry. You weren't, you know, using his money for other stuff and had to get the money back in his account before he found out? No. I had, I had permission to use that account, so no. Okay, but permission to use it and expend all his money so he didn't have money to pay bills? He, the bills was paid, so as I told you that on the first day, the bills and everything was paid. Okay. I paid bills first before I did anything. Your son, here's, here's what your son's telling us. Now you told him that you need to get money because you need to pay Terry back. You owe Terry money. You been gambling any time recently? I play tickets every weekend. That's it. That's I don't it. go to casino. I just scratch lottery tickets. Lottery ticket. That's it. We talked about that before. How yeah, you might I be like know. a little bit addicted to that. I mean, but not to the point that I pay my bills first and that's that on that. Mm -hmm. 
He could tell you talk to Terry, Terry tell you that. I pay my bills. And what about telling your son that, you know, you, the guy has a gun in the store? Letting him know there was I a gun tell, in the store? I've never seen a gun in that store. But you do frequent it like three I, times and a I've, day? I've never been behind the counter nowhere. You can't, and you can't even say that you could see a gun behind the store. I've never seen that man with a gun. That man never had a gun on his side, in his hand, or nothing. The man was always sitting at the piano when you come in. Mm -hmm. You can't even see behind the counter. But I'm sure word of mouth, people know he had but a gun. But I don't, I, nobody could say they ever told me that. I've never heard nobody say the man had a gun. Your son had said that you had told him you're going to have to shoot that man because he has a gun. No. And it's either not, him said, or us. Uh-uh. <laughs> I'm not falling for that, no ma'am. I'm not saying what you like. I ain't falling for that. But I mean, I'm, you're believing that I'm telling I'm you this is what he told I, me. He, you, same thing y'all said. We didn't give a kill on Friday until he heard I was talking. I'm not falling for that. I didn't shoot nobody. No, he admitted to shooting. I didn't shoot nobody. He admitted, and it, like I said, he once admitted again, to shooting. I told you that shot that man, and I was. I did not know. All I saw was that man fall over. No, I'm not going for that. But you also He's took killing him away me from the scene. I did do that's that. my part. That's my part. I did do that. I accept that. You I told you that. that. Yeah. I told you that. I accept that part. I did that. I didn't know what else to do at that moment. I did that. And what about the next few, a week, two now, weeks? I mean, like, I, I didn't know what to do. I didn't know. I'm already in trouble. It's more trouble. Then I still got to say, I saw you shoot somebody. This is a lie. We want to know what happened. To the bank bag? I don't know. To the video surveillance? Because you know. You know where it's at. The guns. You know where it's at. You telling me. You trying to make me tell you something. I'm, I didn't talk to these people. I didn't gave. I was willing to do everything on this part. I need you. Hold on. Calm down. Take a breath. Think about it for a second. Okay, you're getting you're getting excited. Just calm down for us, okay? I mean, we all know why we're here. We all know what happened, right? Now it's a question of why. Why did this happen? I'm telling you. Oh, listen, just listen to me. Obviously, you got your side of the story, and your son's got his side. Now, we sat there and we talked to your son for a while the other day. Mm-hmm. And we watched him cry his eyes out. And one of the biggest things that he cried about, you know, he was sorry because of what happened. He's sorry that he killed that guy. But I think what hurt him the most is that he says he did it for you. Hold on, listen to me. That he did it for you and that you didn't try to protect him at the I end of the day. I that you just him at the end of the day. And that you just, in his words, that you just sold him out. I didn't. Wow. Now, we allowed his family, you know, his girlfriend, to bring his kids up here to say goodbye because he pretty much knows what the outcome of it is. Now, he says you showed up, you picked him up. Is that correct? Yeah, we went to the business where to go to the grocery store. Where did you pick him up at? At his uh, mother-in-law house. At his girlfriend mama house. Which is? I don't know the name. That's how I tell him. I just know how to get that. Is it off of like Bellevue? Street. It's off of Pine Forest. Pine like Forest Road. Like, is it Simpson? I don't I'm serious. I don't know. I just know how to get there. Okay. And you were driving what? The Terry's truck. Okay, Terry's truck. And you picked him up for what? To go to the grocery store. Okay. And then what made y'all go to the convenience store? And I and I don't have the whole story. I, and I've never talked to you before, and I just got... It's because he had to go get the food stamp card, and I had to left my phone on my other son's car. Went back around. If he got the food stamp, went back around Who's to the house. food stamp card did he go get? He went to go get Kira's food stamp card, but he picked up some other girl that had stamped the food stamp card. Like I told you, we got to the what store. Name was that? I don't know what was on the card. He was swiping the card with the pen number, and the card didn't take. I don't know who card it was. I okay, told so you what that did part. You, what did you pay with? I paid with my other son. I told you my other son gave me his car. I paid the money off that, and then Antonio paid the other money. With the other with car? The, no, with the cash. What cash? Because you told us two cars.
cards. That's first. right. And only so one card, uh, it was still only one. I told you the other card didn't work. And he paid for the rest of it in cash. Because we, have, we have the receipt. And that's it. And he paid for yes, I had cash. $50 in, in Where did he get this cash? cash? That's when you going to ask me, where did he get the cash? I have it all on video. That's what I'm saying. You don't okay. have me paying for nothing with cash. You didn't pull out the cash? I didn't pull out the cash. Now, you look on okay. You didn't see me pull it. Tony will pull it out the cash. You didn't see me but pull out no cash. Initially, you told us you used two cards. No, initially, the same thing I told you is we took two cards of store and one card did not work. And I say paid for the food stamps with one card. And he paid the rest in cash. I told you that on Friday. That story has not changed. Well, you did say two cards. There's two cards still in my mm -hmm. But you one did not work. I'm, I'm, Okay, we're going to say it's cash now. The detective seems to have misunderstood the suspect's previous statements, or she may be trying to see if the suspect is going to change her story or find discrepancies with what she has previously said. Nonetheless, the suspect appears to be highly agitated by the questions. I paid for what, $50 worth so, of food stamp with Melvin's card. Y'all asked me but, about Melvin. Okay. And I told you about the first mm -hmm. card. He swiped it. It didn't work. Melvin he had That's right. Okay. First card didn't work. So I took Melvin's card. I took the 50 off of that. And he paid for the rest of the... the he said, I got you. He paid for the rest of the groceries and cash. How old is Melvin? Melvin is 23. Okay. So so the, the money was Melvin? used to buy your groceries. That yes, he you, paid for what he paid for the grocery. You didn't see me on camera pull out now. But you Nickel. kept you kept these groceries as a profit from what he had I just I wanted the then I wanted to put me somewhere else besides Dell and get the hell on. Okay. So so we go from the convenience store. Okay, and where do we go straight from there? To drop him off. And got, he got the stuff, got out, and I went home. Right. Went home, put my groceries up, and I had to think After I was at home shooting? by myself. Yeah. Where no, grocery, grocery store. Okay, so from the shooting, you go straight to the you grocery store. went to the grocery store to try to put me somewhere else. And then y'all y'all did some shopping. That was it. I did. That was it. He paid. Y'all didn't talk room. about anything? So, I had nothing to talk about. Where, at that point, at that point, you say you went straight from the store to the grocery store, right? Where, at that point, where are the two guns... The bank bag. It's still in the car. And the DV. DVR. It was still in the car. Still in the car. Okay. How long do you think he spent in the grocery store? I don't know. I went in there long because I was sick. You can have the camera. You seen me speed through, so I was not in there long. But you, you got about three hundred dollars worth of groceries. It was store. what it was, yeah. I mean, so that takes you. That probably take you at least an hour to grab. No, I went, I went in there still no hour. I can bet you that. It no. was thirteen minutes. Bitch, I tell you, I told you, thirteen minutes went, for three hundred something. Told you, told you, I went in no store early. I didn't Dang. give a damn. I told you, you I watched told the video. You. I'm thanking you. Shopping, I, I had two food stamp cards. What I was supposed to have, so I just, I knew what I wanted, and I got the hell up out of there. Okay. So I knew I went. In. I told you, I knew so I went no store no hour. Part 50 was on the food stamp store. Yeah, because the other card didn't work. So I said I had to put the grocery back. He said, no, I got them. The rest was cash. Because it was too many groceries to like really have to put back. So he came out with cash. Okay. He pulled it out of his Thank pocket. You. Whatever he came off of him. You got it on camera. Pants I, didn't put, I didn't put it out. Where did where did you go from grocery advantage? Dropped him off. On? The back. Where the same way I picked him up at? At his girlfriend's house. Yeah. Okay. And then where did you go straight from there? Back to the house. You didn't? Stop anywhere? No, else? I went to the house. Nowhere else. I went to the house. Okay. You yeah. didn't go to the Family Dollar after that. That was after after I went home. That was later. Yeah, okay. that's what he's asking. Later, later, nothing else. Later on that day. Okay, so in between dropping. Uh, that was before I even. That was right before I picked Terry up. That was right before I picked Terry up. That was shit on W Street. That's w right before Mike. I picked up W Street. W Street. So from. From dropping off D'Antonio, you went straight back to Terry's mm -hmm. house. Didn't talk to nobody? No, I had didn't, to think, get myself together. I didn't know which didn't way to go nobody? for me. Call who? I'm just asking. No. You sure? Um, who, who am I supposed to call? I don't know. You tell me. No. You tell me who you called. I didn't call nobody. I don't know about that. I don't know. I talked to people on the phone, but I didn't call nobody as far as you tell me. It's anything no, else. I'm just asking. I don't remember the, did, who all did, this. Who did you I talked call? to a lot of people that day. Who did who? Because, see, here's the thing. Other people, since they've heard that basically you're trying to make D'Antonio ride this bus by I'm himself. not trying to make him ride oh, the bus. I got a part because I helped him after the fact. Okay. I'm not we're, riding the bus. We're, That's we're, so we're I cannot that. ride the, the free pass. Well, man, you got to listen to me, dear. Come, come down to me. Come down. Since people have heard that D'Antonio is basically riding this murder charge by himself, that by his own words was a pre-planned event. Hold on, you gotta listen to me. I'm, I'm, I'm laying it out for you. 
other people have come forward and said, you know what, that's not right. It sucks that they got caught because we love them, but it's not right that he's riding that bus by himself. Other, other people knew about this event. And now they're starting to talk because they don't want D'Antonio to go down by himself. He, he, I'm and, still, and, getting, I'm not listen. going. He's, he can't go down by himself because I still get him after the fact. Okay. I'm still involved, no matter where you put it at. Here's the main thing: is that you run the risk without telling the whole truth here that he could possibly face a death sentence because, by his own admission, it was a pre-planned event, mm -hmm. a pre-planned murder. You can help him in this situation. And he says, he says the only reason he pulled the trigger and participated oh, was for you. Was for you. His own mom. And that broke his heart more than anything to hear what his own mom had to say about him. Do you, and other people don't like this. They don't really think it's want, right. Do you really want him to face that death penalty, go to death, I knowing that his going mom, to no death penalty, knowing that his mom it's, threw him under yeah, the bus I didn't like throw that? Him under the bus. Threw him to the I sharks. I didn't pull no trigger. We know you didn't. He admitted to pulling the trigger. He admitted to everything. Willie May, he told us everything. You gave him life. Give him life again. Help him. Tell the truth. Help him. He needs your help. It is what it is at this point. I mean, we are where we are. It is what it is. At the end of our conversation, I gave him the opportunity to say something to that family, to let that family know that that man's life wasn't worth a couple hundred bucks. He wanted that opportunity. I gave him a notepad and that's what he wrote. Save this man. Mm -hmm. Give him the chance of getting some parole instead of that chair. He is your baby. He is my baby. Don't let him and die. Him. Don't let him die knowing that you let him take this all by himself. He's it's, not taking this by himself. He is. He is all with by himself. With, with all by himself. How he taking it all by himself? With a man. Look at me, dude. He's going to ride this by himself. Mm -hmm. What you are looking at ain't nothing compared to what that young boy, he is 19 years old. Mm -hmm. 19 years old. He's got a you baby be, on the way. I know everything. Y'all tell probably me something that I know everything. Out of jail. You'll probably be out of jail. And he'll still, he'll sit there and you know what he's facing. He's going to ride it by himself. As the detectives pressure the suspect by focusing on her relationship with her son, the suspect appears to be affected and may disclose additional information related to the crime and, most important, her direct involvement. At least heal his heart. I mean, we'll bring him over here right now. Same room with you. Put his heart back together before he goes away. He's hurting. Knowing that that's the last thing. Everybody's hurting. Everybody's, mm -hmm. everybody's. But you can heal him. Well, man, you're going to get out of jail one day. He won't. He's going to die in there. He needs to know his mama cares enough. He cried with that little boy in his arm. I know. Telling his girlfriend that my mama sold me out. His words, not mine. I didn't sell him out. That's what he says. That's what he thinks. That's what he feels. And what the story he gave us is that it was for you. He said you needed some money to pay I didn't make Tony Yo do nothing. I didn't make him do nothing. You didn't twist his arm. What did you ask him to do? I didn't make him. I didn't ask nothing. It was a conversation. I didn't ask nothing. I didn't ask nothing. Did you tell him you were down and out on money? That he did it on his own to help you get out of that trouble? That's I didn't tell him to do nothing. But, did you but we had a conversation, but I didn't tell him to do nothing. What did you have a conversation about? Let us know why he did this for you. Let us know what you said to him to make him do this. I didn't, I didn't know that he would take it that you, far. Well, you didn't know, but what did you tell him to make him think of something like that? He said he 
it was broke. I said, well, mama broke too. I said, I lost all my money playing lottery tickets. Just plain and simple as that. I said, well, I don't know what I'm going to tell Terry for the rest of the week because I don't have no extra money. When I'm out of money, he don't give me extra money. Mm -hmm. That's how the conversation went. I didn't know. Oh, how did it lead up to this? <laughs> you know where he got that gun from? He said he got it from your house. Help your boy. That's all it is now. I mean, because we have enough to put you both away. We just want to know that he... I didn't know he was going to do that. Did he say he was just going to go rob him? I didn't yeah. know he was going to do that. But you didn't know he was going to shoot him. <laughs> Did he shoot him because he saw the guy going for his gun? I don't know about that part. I, just, I couldn't see back behind where I was standing. I, mean, I like, never knew it was a gun in the store or everything. I know. I don't know if he seen the gun. When he went there and he just panicked, I don't know. All I know, it was a gun on the counter just laying in front of the man. So the man don't had a chance to even reach for the gun. That much I do know. Okay. But I don't know if he saw it first. Mm -hmm. And knew it didn't change. Saw the what, gun yeah, and, and panicked. Panic. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. So it was just supposed to be a straight up robbery, and not, just, not just, a murder. Not a murder. So y'all didn't plan to kill him. We didn't plan to kill nobody. Just supposed to be a couple hundred bucks. <laughs> That's and get why him. he didn't plan when he killed when that, that shot. Everything changed. He wasn't supposed to kill nobody. I don't know. Did you tell him to go in the bathroom? <laughs> Did you guys talk about how you were going to do it? Like if you were going to distract him a little bit? No, he just said, he, he, he said, just go in the store and buy your tickets. He said, I got the rest. I said, what are you finna do, told you? He said, just I just buy your tickets like you was gonna do. I got the rest of He came and said he need to use a bathroom. Okay. So I just thought he's gonna come by and just say and that Give was the it. Money and that's it. What, <laughs> kind of, what, I mean, what kind of tickets did you ask for? I asked for the regular three uh, the uh, one dollar ticket. I asked for my three tickets, like I said. The one dollar three three Scratch tickets for one dollar? Yeah. Okay. And that's when he came around the side and asked yeah, me. I had already got my tickets. I was like, be ready to turn away. You already had it. your tickets? Yeah, he, the man had, they did the ticket. I was still at the purge, you know, doing that. Give it a okay. turn. But he had already pulled them off and put them on the counter because I buy tickets all the time. So he might have had them in his hand or something. And, but you hadn't gotten yeah. them yet. Okay. Um, what about, you know, afterward? I know you had said that the bank bag, the gun, the um, video machine and the keys correct who did what who grabbed what because it had to have been quick it had to have been so fast because you had to get out of there i know he didn't do it all i was running around this i was just running through the store he's like calm down calm down help me find the tape help me find the tape okay so you went over to the tape machine you went over and i went over to yeah he said i found it i found it i found it <laughs> And then he went to trying to take it. He had a brown bag and he was trying to take it, take the thing off. He got the first box off. When he got the first box off, he passed me the first box and we was looking. Then there happened to be another box under the counter that you couldn't take it off. So you had to cut it off. Who cut it? I cut it off. You cut it off. Who got, who, who grabbed the bank he, bag? He got the. He said he grabbed the guy's gun. You grabbed the bank bag. If the gun was laying by the bag, I didn't touch the gun. He said he took it. was a bag. It was a bag right there. Yes, I didn't look in the bag. Grabbed the bag. Tony, you're the one that opened the bag up and saw what was in the bag. Once it was in the truck. Right. There was it was money in the bag, but I he you counted the money. Much. Yeah. Okay. Um. So, what about the gun? Did you know he did? He carried both the guns out of the store. What happened to each of those <laughs> guns? Because he told us he kept one and sold it, and you kept the other. He sold the gun. That's the, what he said. The guy's gun. <laughs> what about you? What did you do with the forty-five? I don't know. Now, like I can tell you, I don't. I put the gun back. I I don't back know where. where? At, at, I don't know where it's at now. At Terry's house. So I put it back. I don't know where it's at now. So it was Terry's gun. Does he know? He don't know the story. He don't know everything. But he knows where his gun's at. 
I don't know if he know where the gun at, but all I know is where? I had to tell him something so that gun wouldn't stay in the house. So where? So he got rid of it. Did he know what you guys did? Uh uh-uh. uh. He don't know. That's what he Are don't you? know. He don't what know. He, what does he know? He so think, that when we call him back in here today, because we're going to talk to him again. He he thinking that a third party used the gun, and I was trying to clear up me and my son. I mean, he's not stupid. He knows. I, he, he knows, knows now. now mm-hmm. But then he didn't know. He knows now. But then he didn't know. What about the DVR equipment in the bank bag? Where's that at? What'd you do with Tony that? Tony did get rid of that. I don't know that part. He said. He did get rid of it. But you kept that video. I don't. Not, I don't, did I don't you throw it in the trash? I don't have a video. I don't have no tape. I did not a gun. Where, I don't. Where did you ditch it? I don't have that. Where'd you throw it? I don't have no, no tape. Where did you ditch it? I didn't ditch no tape. Now, that's on everything. I didn't ditch your tape. Now that the suspect has confessed to her direct involvement in this crime, it's interesting to hear her try and convince the detectives that she is an honest person by using the phrase, that's on everything. The fact that she is attempting to convince them that she has no knowledge of where the guns or recording equipment is makes her words less believable. When you dropped him off at his girlfriend's house, he did not take it out of the truck. I didn't ditch the tape. What about the bank bag? You threw it away? Antonio got rid of all of that. So he took it with him when he, he got, got out of the truck. Tonyo, I Tonyo got rid of all of that. I dropped Tony off and picked Tonyo back up. Tonyo got rid of all of that. Okay, you dropped him off. I dropped Tonyo off. Tonyo got rid of all of it. Hold on, slow down. Because you're, you're skipping. No, you're I'm skipping not skipping. Here. I'm not skipping. I'm telling you. Tonyo got rid of, he got rid of that stuff before he ever got home. I, I don't know where he got rid of it at. I was just supposed so to drop him off, come back and home. pick him. So you oh. made a stop between the grocery store and home. Where did you make a stop? I just dropped him off. Uh, what over by the grocery van? He just got out. He got out. Right and I was come, come back around and pick him up, and come back around, pick him up, took him home. So he dumped it over behind the grocery. Van. I don't know where about he dumped, but where I did don't. He, where, when he went uh, out the I store, know, I was to pull off. He didn't. That was it. I just pulled off to stay away for a few minutes. Where did he walk? Listen to me, please. I mean, I can see it on the video. Listen, listen. It has the outside cameras. Okay. So did he get me. back in the he car? He got in the truck. That's what I'm telling you. I pulled up the street. He got out. I was to leave and what come street? back. Down the street. Which, this was... which way did you drive? Look, here's the map. Did you drive on Lillian, New Warrington, or Mobile Highway? I don't forget. I really don't forget which way. Seriously. It is very likely that the suspect does not want to disclose any information related to the whereabouts of the store footage, as it will be damning evidence against her. Well, no, this is this is what we're, we're trying to work out right now. We're trying to work out getting your son over here. Because, I mean, regardless of this incident, I think at the end of the day, your boy, is, he's still a boy. He's just a boy. And I think he needs to know... That his mom's going to stand up for him in any way she possibly can. And that I think you need the opportunity to tell him that you're sorry forever influencing him in the wrong way. Right? You agree? Yes. Okay. But what we, what we also want to do is we want to start and we want to backtrack that entire day. <laughs> but that's, that's, we'll do that later. Okay. Okay, because I know you're upset and you probably just need a minute. Okay? But we'd like to go back one day and with you and him both. And we want to start at the store. And we just want to go from point A to point B to point C to point D. And let y'all talk it out and remember what exactly and where okay you all right with that i know it's tough i know it's tough but you did what you were supposed to do today you stood up today and and you you were the mom today regardless of what happened you stood up for your boy today and that's more important than anything else in this whole situation for you and him. No, I think he needs to know that. Because he was hurt. Boy, was he hurt. Let me ask you a couple more questions. 
I'm, um, with the gun, Harry's gun. Where did you get the gun from in the house? Where did you get it out of? Lockbox. Where was that at in there? In the room. In the bedroom? In his bedroom? Mm -hmm. Okay. Is it in the closet, under the bed? It's on the floor. They searched all that stuff. But it's always going. Yeah, they wouldn't have done that. They, 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 they would have felt the gun. Okay. I don't know where he put it, where he took it. That's something I don't know. Who was he under the impression that it was about? Like the gun, why to get rid of it? What third party was he under the impression? Or did you just tell them you, you loaned it to somebody and they did something stupid with it? I just say somebody, you know, got it, did something stupid with it. So no names, nothing? I, just, I didn't give him a name. I just said a cousin. I just okay. left it at that. I didn't want him. He didn't ask no questions? He, he just knew. He what, know he yelled and screamed and went ballistic for a minute. But he knew what he had to do at that point. Yeah. Was just get rid of it. Okay. Do you remember at what point in the store you took your gloves off? I never had a glove on. You never had gloves on? That's what I'm saying. I never had, that's why I kept saying I never had them gloves on. <laughs> that one was so crazy. We've got another set of gloves. And you, uh, so, that's the house. That's where you glove, but I never had them gloves on. What about his gray t-shirt? Did you remember seeing blood on his gray t-shirt? Did he have blood on him? Blood on him. He didn't have none on him at all. Well, we he found did. a gray t-shirt that's at his girlfriend's house. It has blood on it. Mm -hmm. And it was found next to a pair of the similar type gloves that were found in the store. Tony? Yes. Mm -hmm. In his in his closet where he sleeps. Oh well, I didn't never see him with blood. It was like it was a gray t-shirt. Yeah, exactly like what was on the video at Grocery Advantage. Yeah, it might, but I don't remember seeing blood. You don't on remember? It. Did he tuck his shirt in that it wasn't tucked mm -hmm. in before? Because in the in the video, it looks like he had tucked that shirt in. Well, he might. I told you after that, I was he, I'm in a whole, another zone. Okay. I don't. Okay. <laughs> I didn't know if you saw him, maybe mm -mm, tuck it down. But I didn't see no blood. I mean, I actually, at that point, I wouldn't. It's like everything after that was a whirlwind. It was going and going, and I was going and going, and everything was just coming. This was popping in, that way. It, it was just going. Did he die instantly? Or was he. I, it, it, it making, just. Moving. I didn't. Was he groaning? Could you hear any groaning? No, nothing. It just nothing. was. Oh, I think it was just over with. I don't think no. Pretty obvious. Yeah, I just think I don't think it was no suffering. I just was done. Did you go over and, and I didn't check? No, no, I didn't. Man. So you kind of just stepped over and man, helped with the yeah, video. Man, yeah, that and... was it, man. I couldn't even look down. I couldn't even tell you. All I saw was when he went over. That's the only vision I see of this man when I lay down. Mm -hmm. That's it, and I still got that vision. That's it. Let me ask you this, so that we don't have to drag you all around town. And figure out this stuff by you doing still got that. The, I'm, I'm telling you what you still got to ask. You got to ask them. But, I mean, but for you, when you drove out of that parking lot, which direction? Because, I, I mean, we're going to drag you around trying I mean, to get all this it, it's, it's, he, he it? Once he find out that I've stepped up to the I'm pretty sure he'll give you the rest of what you need to know. Willie Mae Thornton went to trial and was sentenced to life in prison for her role in this crime. R.I.P. to the victim, Fuam Truong. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Do you think justice was served and does the punishment fit the crime? Be sure to comment your thoughts and let us know what you think about this interrogation, including the sentencing of this woman. With that, be sure to subscribe for more, be safe, and we'll see you in our next video.